I was really fascinated to come across the story of George. Now, George had a brain cancer, a glioma, one of the deadliest. And he knew as a biochemist that he had at most two years to live. So he was looking for a miracle. So he started going to charismatic church meetings, the ones run by Randy Clark. And he followed them around like a dedicated groupie, each time putting himself in line to be healed. And this went on for months. And he even attended some of their missionary trips, going to also stand in line every time when they were overseas, he was in line waiting to be healed. When he got home to his doctor, he was dismayed to find out nothing. No change, in fact, the tumor was progressing. But George was so interested in what was going on with the missionary churches and their little missions that he decided to volunteer and he went with them. And he was so fascinated by some of their successes that he began to start praying for other people. And when he came home, he started doing this so much that people started lining up to get their little dose of prayer from him. And something amazing happened. After a while, when he went back to his doctor, they found his tumor was shrinking. And before long, the tumor was gone. Now, Randy Clark wrote about George. Clark believed that George's remission came about because of all the prayer that was given to him, almost like a bank account accruing a certain amount of interest. I don't see it like that. I see that George's change, his miraculous healing, came about the moment he started praying for someone else. And I found that when I started looking into other studies of prayer, there'd been a study done by a, a priest psychologist called Sean O'Leary. And he wanted to see whether or not prayer could help with something like depression. So he asked for volunteers who were depressed in his area in California. And he gathered together over 400. And he divided the group in half, and half were the ones being prayed for, and the other half were the people doing the praying. When he was all finished with the study, he found that the people who'd got prayer were less depressed. They were doing well. But the people who had done the praying were doing even better. They were even less depressed. And he had to conclude, I guess that praying is better for you than being prayed for. And that's certainly the case when you start looking at research about altruism. In every regard, altruism is like a bulletproof vest. It activates all kinds of things in your body that help your immune system, that make you feel more connected. People improve their life circumstances. It sort of radiates out with a, an amazing ripple effect. In every case, the person doing the giving does better than the person doing the receiving. Sign up now on gowsim.com to watch the full presentation.